Hello learners have you ever wondered why C language is mostly used for embedded software development why the intelligence of most of the hardware is powered by C say any sensor the chip in your microwave oven your smart watches even the processor of your device on which you are watching this video is most probably powered by C let's discuss why C is the undisputed champion in embedded development your machine or processor only understands binary that is 0 and 1 which we call machine code now to communicate with machine we defined unique patterns of zeros and ones that we called as instructions then we created mnemonics to add some abstraction over those binary patterns to understand these instructions properly and so assembly language was discovered the assembly language is closest to the hardware thus we call assembly a low level language now c is the next abstraction to the assembly level language and python we can consider as the next abstraction to the c language so c is generally referred as mid level language which is in the middle of high level language such as python which is programmer friendly and assembly language which is hardware friendly so c language provides a great balance to control your hardware as well as give programmers a good upper hand to code intelligently linus todwalls himself also believes c is the best language for interacting with hardware from software perspective now let's try to understand more technicalities as why c is the most suitable for embedded development c provides low level access to memory through pointers allowing direct manipulation of hardware registers and memory addresses this level of control is crucial in embedded systems where hardware interaction is often necessary also in embedded system usually have limited resources so efficient memory management is critical but c has manual memory management through pointers which allow developers to control memory allocation and deallocation explicitly so this fine grained control over code execution and memory usage results in predictable and fast performance there is another fact that c program can be compiled into standalone executable without the need of large runtime environment in contrast python and java programs often require the presence of their respective environment that is interpreter for python and java virtual machine for java another important point is that c is statically typed meaning that variable types are determined at compiled time this allows for more efficient memory allocation and optimization by the compiler in contrast python and java are dynamically typed and dynamic nature often requires additional runtime information and structures leading to larger executables also python and java application often include more extensive set of standard libraries and dependencies which can contribute to large executable sizes talking about performance there is no doubt that c is ahead of many higher level languages this performance criteria is must in embedded system where we serve real time applications reduce abstractions direct hardware access and predictable execution using pointers efficient memory management small footprints no runtime overhead as compared to other high level languages make c a high performance language there are some downside of using c as well in c we generally use manual memory management means we need to allocate and free memory manually using malloc or free function We often end up with multiple memory related issues such as buffer overflow, null pointer dereference and data races in C. Also there is absence of garbage collector in C which increases the risk of memory leaks and makes it harder to ensure memory safety. Additionally, C lacks built-in support for modern concurrency and parallelism, making it more challenging to write safe and concurrent code. but rust is a modern programming language addresses these limitations effectively with its ownership model borrowing system and emphasis on memory safety by eliminating null pointers enforcing strict ownership rules and providing built in concurrency support rust offers a safer alternative to c so is it possible to completely switch to the rust not really as the widespread use of c in existing code bases and its long standing legacy means that 
the transition to rust may take much time many critical soc's operating systems and embedded softwares are currently written in c and the effort required to migrate or rewrite such code in rust is substantial many companies are starting to use rust for new projects but lot of important software is already written in c and changing that to rust will take a long time so even though rust is getting more attention it will still be a while before it becomes more common than c in the software world what do you think can rust replace c in the near future comment down your views keep watching our videos to learn and grow subscribe to planet skills thank you